Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and a game between Lights So Hyung and FXO's Slavic here on Daybreak. I believe this was taken from the Zotac Cup. Should be a very interesting game as we have Slavic spawning as the orange Zerg on the top right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, So Hyung spawning as the blue Terran. Now, those of you guys who have watched me for many, many moons will recognize Seo Hyung's name, especially his tag. Um, he was part of VVV, leaving VVV to go to check six and then ultimately landing up as light. For those of you guys who want a little bit more information, Rocker, I believe, has recently left or recently left VVV as well and is now part of light as well. So perhaps a little bit of a relationship between So Hyung and, and Rocker helped Rocker move on to the Korean team light. Now, let's take a look at the strategies. Let's see what's going to unfold here in this Terran versus Zerg matchup on Daybreak. As I really feel Daybreak is a very Zerg friendly map. Zerg players generally have a very easy time trying to establish this as their third base. They can set it up pretty quickly. Zerg players in general can also go to four to six queen play and then just try and spread creep tumors out across the map relatively quickly. They also have the benefit of having broodlords with a lot of dead space around the map, meaning that marines cannot get to those broodlords all too easily, forcing the production of vikings. But then the vikings can also be countered by infestors with fungal, cr fungal growth and infested terran. Now, we are going to be see seeing Seo Hyung go into a refinery list build. This is going to be a one racks expand, most likely. Meanwhile, Slavic is actually going into um, a fast hatchery as well. We'll see if when that spawning pool will be coming down and what the overall strategies and timing will be. I believe the spawning pool is going to be coming down right now. And let's take a look at it. Yeah, the timing will be just so right as this spawning pool is completed. The hatcheries will both be able to queen train up a queen at the same exact time. Now, So Hyung pretty much um, going to be playing his own style of game. He is going to be going into that one Rax command center. As we saw earlier, no reactor Hellion play as the game is already underway. And this does promise to be a very, very long economic game. Now, the key question will be who can deal more damage in the middle portion of the game? If Seo Hyung is able to execute his builds well and is able to really limit the amount of harvesting that Slavic can do, Slavic should be able to get in, into that Infestor Broodlord. Otherwise, if Seo Hyung is able to perhaps get off a lot of harassment with those Reactor Hellions and then perhaps execute a lot of drops all across the map in different locations, forcing Slavic to constantly respond and not be able to tech to Tier 3, then Seo Hyung should be able to come out on top as the upgrades for Terran and the overall unit composition for Terran gets stronger and stronger. So Hyung now going into a double refinery build with only one barrack. So we may see actually a transition into very heavy tech. Command center is nearing completion. There's currently three Marines there, a fourth one being trained, and we may perhaps see a bunker. Now what Seo Hyung was looking for was he was looking for this hatchery. He wants to know whether or not he's going to be seeing a lot of units come out or if Slavic is going to try to play a more of an economic game. Because he didn't spot this third hatchery here, he may actually suspect that Slavic is going to be trying to go for perhaps a two base roach push. If a two base roach push is underway, the roaches should be able to handle these hellions and also be able to handle any number of marines that are on the field as seven roaches would pretty much walk into the base and not have a single problem. What's curious about Slavic though is that Slavic is not going for roaches and he's also not going for that third base. So with this, he may be trying to go perhaps a very, very heavy gas play and then teching into tier two for perhaps faster mutilists and faster infestors if Seo Hyung believes that he can actually just make his way forward. We are going to be seeing the factory now double train those Hellions. We are going into a starport as Seo Hyung looks to perhaps try and go for Cloaked Banshees. 
We are to, oh, what was this? A very, very nice play done by Slavic. He built a hatchery, cancelled it immediately, but the creep was still there. And now Slavic is going to be able to set down two creep tumors in the middle of the map. Very, very far out. Meanwhile, these creep tumors are going to actually be perhaps traveling south as we are setting up a third base here. Now Slavic is a bit behind on this third base and this base may actually get punished before it gets operational. Now the queens are in a very good position up in the front with these creep tumors. And the question will be where are these queens going to try to spread their creep tumors next? They should already be spreading it here doing double, um, double lane of creep tumors down. And with four queens or with four creep tumors already down those hellions. Oh, are we going to see a cancellation there? That may be a cancellation. One creep tumor does um, does burrow. The second creep tumor does burrow as well. And very nicely done by Slavic as he gets a very early jump start on his creep tumors. Now we may see perhaps a scanner sweep here. Um, we do also see one Zonaga tower. There's those creep tumors already being um, destroyed and shot down Slavic. Um, is going to at least force Seo Hyung to clean this up and he may not want to nope he is going to actually try to uh, be aggressive here but he is still fighting on creep that is always a very very dangerous situation to be in but Hellions and Marines simply just marching their way forward and may be able to deal a lot of damage Queens are in position the Queens are starting to dart and fire back around Slavic perhaps hoping that he actually had energy for some transfusions as the Zerglings now trying to go for a surround on the Hellions Hellions are getting poked apart there. The last couple of Marines were cleaned up by those Queens. As we are seeing a 3 base, um, 3 base Zerg into a 2 base, now 3 base Terran. Banshee is in the air, so Seo Hyung is looking very strong, perhaps going to be engaging with Cloak. An Overseer now already being trained. It looks like Queens already in position to perhaps expect harassment from this cloaked banshee but the banshee is instead going to be attacking the main base there is one spore crawler nearby a queen is here as well and here we go the spore crawler already getting off some easy shots here and the banshee may get taken down no down to 35 hit points and is able to get away and fight again another day Creep is still slowly receding. We can see Hellion Banshee play as we are going into that third base by So Hyung. Harvester count is 46 to 44. So Slavic is a bit behind at this stage. He doesn't have the saturation that a Zerg player normally has when trying to run up on three bases. He is finding himself perhaps needing more drones. And also more overlords as well, more larva and more resources as queens are going to get cleaned up here. Here we have it, the banshees are now trying to make their way forward. One banshee does get taken down, second banshee may get taken down as well. It looks like that banshee taking a lot of damage, the queens will not be able... Oh, will it be able, actually able to get close enough? Yes, it does, it drops the changeling and Slavic is going to clean up this aggression. Now, the key question will be, yes, he does have a drone advantage moving on, and these Zerglings could perhaps put a bit of pressure down over here at this third. This third is still pretty much in the dark. So Hyung with really nothing on the front door here. This is a big surprise. A lot of Terran players usually have bunkers here on the front door. Nothing coming in from So Hyung at all. Now let's take a look back around. Zerglings are going to be making their way in. Going to be cleaning up some of these SCVs. SCVs now trying to get away. They will not be able to get away as all, as all of those SCVs are simply getting destroyed. Marines now trying to make their way back in. It looks like those Zerglings are going to be backing off. And now perhaps poking apart at that orbital command a little, at least a little bit of damage before the marines do come in and clean up this attack. We do see two overlords off over here. We see one changeling here and one changeling here. Acting as a bit of a forward scout. Slavic still trying to establish up just map control with all of these creep tumors. And this is perhaps going to be an ongoing battle for So Hyung. And not fighting on creep that is always very dangerous to do so as zerglings and banelings do roll and run at you with amazing speed. So Hyung now transitioning into very heavy barracks play. Seven barracks, one factory, and also one starport. As we're seeing more and more units still being trained here. Where are these marines going to be going? They're going to be going down here. 
looking to perhaps clean up some of these overlords overlords may simply just be shot down here in just a second one overlord will fall second overlord may be able to get up onto the high ground in time zerglings are now back over here and this may be a complete surround and destruction the zerglings just two to one against all of those marines as banelings coming in on the far side infester may will it get off a of fungal growth it looks like it could get off a of fungal growth and with those infested terrans as the one medevac does look to back away viking now gonna be cleaning up the viking already with one kill looking to add more and more overlords to its um, kill count and vikings very very good at cleaning up any overlords in these really strange locations now seo hyung is going to be going into a drop inside the main base it looks like the infestors did spot this and here you go oh seo hyung deciding to back away there are th are we perhaps going to see enough uh fungal growths i do believe the infested terrans are just out of range though and those units will be able to slip away once more all right medevacs now down over here medevac pilot perhaps very very lucky to live and fight again another day 80 points of damage on that medevac and 70 more points and all of those marines would have just been lost evolution chambers upgrades are currently sitting at 2-2 two, 2-2 two. Two, two upgrades on those banelings and on those zerglings going to be very impressive as we now see marines cleaning up creep tumors over here to the north meanwhile over here off to the south does the infestors perhaps see what's going up on that high ground no they do not siege tanks are in position as the zerglings are perhaps now trying to go in for a very strong flank marines are now going to be making their way in and here we go queen now going to be going in for an engagement siege tanks on the high ground will be shelling slavic as slavic is now backing off there is one easy fungal growth a second fungal growth could be coming in no no additional fungal growths as we see a 14 supply advantage 90 drones of 65 SCVs. Seo Hyung with a much larger army may punish this fast expanding Slavic. Infestors, fungal growth, spine crawlers. One infestor does go down here as the siege tanks are simply all grouped together here on the high ground and able to shell down. This is three bases to three. Zerglings back over here. A little bit of a run by not too many workers killed at all as we do see the fourth base now trying to be held this base here is this uh, what fifth base trying to be established fourth base trying to be held and this is going to be very uh, dangerous as the zerglings are actually going to try to run in here and take down some more of those siege tanks another fungal growth should be all you need marines are just covered in green goo Th that fungal growth eating through their armors as the marines are now trying to fight back down over here we see seo hyung pushing in that pressure slavic perhaps scratching his head wondering what exactly he did wrong as we are now transitioning into ultralist ultralist will be a last ditch effort to perhaps try and push back all of these um, units the marines are currently upgraded to two more infested terrans are being launched as well overseers and infestors should perhaps be trying to back off here in just a moment as the push is still going in strong slavic now sitting on perhaps the longest 20 20 starcraft seconds of his life waiting for those ultralists to come out and perhaps come back in with a very very strong engagement here infestors now getting cleaned up that's going to be a very sad day for all of those infestors there zergling is now trying to clean up against those as well as another infestor does get taken down so young now with about a 20 supply advantage we can see um in comes the ultralist army compositions are about the same there are a lot of marines but the marines will end up falling to those ultralists if the ultralists do finish getting that armor upgrades here you go ultralists do move very quickly and all the medevacs picking up all of the marines a very very timely retreat as so young will be able to fall back and regroup with the rest of his units that was a very tactical retreat there and slavic now with a lot of work to do these ultralists are not that effective against those um against those marines those marines only taking 19 damage per attack ultras now looking to back away once more where are these ultras perhaps looking to go ultras could perhaps come in with a very strong flank medevacs now looking to come in siege tanks are in position and here we go here is the engagement siege tanks ultralists and i believe slavic actually just realized that there is simply too much here for him to try and push we are also transitioning into a broodlord so a, a what broodlord composition as the greater spire now underway no fungal growth meaning that all of these marines are going to be able to hit and run all that they want to do slavic now trying to run up on four bases meanwhile seo hyung already running up on four bases with, with mules being called in the center i believe that is five mules almost full saturation at this center nine o'clock location 
All right, Ultralis wandering around here. Where will it be traveling? Where will they be going? And what will they be trying to do next? Off over here on the bottom right hand side, Slavic does have a hatchery. He is going to be getting up on bases once more. And Kitten is plating should be completed on these Ultralis. Ultralis now with six armor, meaning that these Marines, their gunfire is only doing two damage per attack. 3-3 three, three upgrades now coming in, but Slavic will have a small window of opportunity where his Ultralis will be extremely beefy against these Marines. It will take a Marine over 250 shots to shoot a fully hit point Ultralis as the Ultralis are now looking to chomp in. Alright, Siege Tanks already in Siege mode. There is that Scanner Sweep. The Siege Tanks will be forced to unsiege again as the Marines are in position. All right, spine crawlers are being added. You can see a whole bunch of ultralists sitting off over here. It looks like the siege tanks will perhaps be trying to hit on the bottom side here, but the creep tumors are there as well. Both sides now maxing in supply pretty much 194 versus 196, 77 harvesters versus 70 as the broodlord counter now already on the field. There was an infester fungal growth. That was a very tactical hit there as we could see another fungal growth try and come in. Seo Hyung trying to engage here. This may not be the perfect location. The Broodlord's in the air. Ultralis on the ground. Infestors with beautiful fungal growth. And Slavic should be able to clean this up. Ultralis, however, the Ultralis count is now down. Are the Broodlord's going to be fast enough as we now see a whole bunch of units being retrained up? Vikings, Thors, Marauders, and Marines. Nine being trained at a time. There's only four. Count them. Four Broodlord's on the field. Is that enough? We can see perhaps... One siege tank here. Are the Broodlords going to be making their way in? Yes, they will. And they are dropping off the kids already. Siege tank actually causing a lot more damage with that splash damage there. Broodlings causing problems swarming over here on the ground as Slavic is now putting pressure where it hurts. Infested Terrans are popping out. Where are they going to be traveling to next? All the Vikings need to back away. It looks as though some of those Broodlords and Broodlings are going to be engaging here. You can see... Planetary Fortress currently shooting at all of those Broodlings. Luckily, no splash damage there as the Planetary Fortress is already down to 1,200 hit points. SCVs now need to be careful. Ultralis and Thors engaging. The Thors, Fungal Growth coming in as well. The, some of the Thors are not engaging at all. Sorry, the Ultralis are not engaging at all as Slavic is now trying to take down the Planetary Fortress. It is currently not being repaired as all of the Broodlords are just getting cleaned up by Vikings. What transition are we going to have now? Slavic does it have, or Slavic has a bunch in the bank with 35 larva. What is he going to be spending his resources on? Infested Terrans trying to shoot down this one planetary fortress. Is it going to fall? I do not think so. As long as the SEVs are, we're going to repair. It looks like it is already down to three, what, 30 some odd hit points. And it looks like the planetary fortress may fall. If Seo Hyung loses this ultra or this planetary fortress from flames, that will be a horrible loss there as Seo Hyung does have a backup plan or command center already. Army composition, f what, 4,600 versus 2,800. 88 workers versus 69. More drones making their way in. We need to see perhaps a wall of spine crawlers being utilized. Mobile stationary defense that does not cost supply. One of the best advantages for Zerg when they do have a lot of drones. Vikings now in the center here. All, Thor is now making their way in. Here we go. Here's the next engagement. Zerglings now trying to swarm in. The alt or the corruptor is now going after the Vikings. There is some beautiful fungal growths across multiple units as we are going to perhaps see a whole bunch of downed medevacs. And the Marines are now going after those Corruptors. The Corruptors are not upgraded at all. Even with two armor, that is not enough to deal with these now fully upgraded Marines at 3-3. Slavic sitting at 163, Seo Hyung sitting at 163, both sides still fighting it out, drones now on the run, Broodlord on the move, will it be able to get away, it looks like it will be able to do exactly that, no, the Marines stimming underneath, and it does get taken down, there is a beautiful fungal growth though, we could have chain fungal growths again, and yes, a whole bunch of Marines and Marauders could end up falling here, Slavic now down to 130, Seo Hyung sitting at 160, and this is a beautiful game as Seo Hyung was able to come back and now has made it deep inside enemy lines. All right, more Marines and Marauders are still being added. Reinforcements are coming in perhaps slowly but steadily. Seo Hyung now down to 145 compared to Slavic's 130. Larva count now zero, so no additional larva for Slavic. Zerglings now trying to be trained, but they're not going to hold up against all of the Marines and Marauders that are already out on the field. Those Zerglings simply falling apart and dying the moment 
that they are hatched from their eggs, unable to even reach their target. And I believe the tipping point has been met. Seo Hyung says GG. So, uh, sorry, Slavic says GG. Um, after a R-O-F-L. So yes, Seo Hyung takes game one in this series. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.